Hi, this is Michelle Shaw. I'm your host of the Inspired Mind Podcast. Welcome. So grateful to be here with you in spirit, dearest listener. I am excited to be here live here, just, you know, going out there on the, on the video right here. And what I want to share with you today is a tip I learned from the sad guru. Um, if you don't know who he is, look him up. He's brilliant. Um, he's um, known as a mystic yogi. And I did love to watch his YouTubes. I went through a period of time when I was watching his YouTubes in 2021 and 2022. And he had a wonderful suggestion that I practice and it worked like a charm okay it's called counting joy so look up that youtube if you can and and it was five suggestions on how to have a better year in 2022 and the one i took to heart on his suggestion for the suggestion was counting joy so the way he describes it is you know think of like your bank account or your money you know we're always trying to save money having a record of our money, build on that. Same thing with joy. If we start keeping a record of our joy and building on that, then we will have more moments of joy and we will also know what brings us joy. So a lot of times in life, if we don't know what brings us happiness, how can we be happy? So the more we know ourselves, the better life that we'll live, the more spontaneous those circumstances that happen where Joy just bubbles up naturally. So what he suggested was get a journal, okay? So maybe you don't like to handwrite the journal. I personally love that because you're making the, the, the paper contact with the pen and you are taking action. It's a physical action besides just like putting it in your phone. It's a little extra step. It's like a little, it's like your own book on your life. So for that year, I had a whole year of counting joy and what fun it was to go back over that year and see, oh, some of the things that brought me joy, which I wouldn't have thought would, you know, one was just hanging out under this tree in Vista where I lived at the time. And I, I named him Earl. He was this huge hundred year old tree. And I'd love to just stand under Earl with my dogs and just look up at the stars and count them in the sky. And that was like one of my happiest moments of the day. And I was like, oh, I would never have expected that. You know, sometimes it's those fine moments that are our own moments that give us joy that we would maybe not have recognized without taking sad guru's advice and, and taking a journal, making a record and building on your joy, knowing what brings your joy by, by, by um, just journaling it down, by making that record, by knowing how to find happiness a little bit more in your life, because this is it, right? This is our lives right now. And if we we are hoping to be happy, but we don't know what brings us happiness. How will we ever be happy? That is why Sad Guru is such a rock star. In his, um, in that YouTube, he gives great suggestion. I hope you find that, and you will just follow his advice on keeping that record, writing down your joys, and so then at the end of 2024, you have this whole year of things that bring you joy that you maybe never would have have known without um, making this part of your new challenge for 2024. Start now, start in the holidays, just see how it works for you in the holidays. And I'm going to um, round this up with a quote from one of my favorite writers, Pearl S. Buck. And it's such a true quote. It is one that, that resonates with uh, Sad Guru's advice, okay? Many people lose the small joys for the big happiness. So what does that mean? Many people lose the small joys for the big happiness, just like sad gurus suggest. Make moments, take time, record when you're joyful so you know. It's just like right there at our fingertips. It's not away on a vacation. It's not somewhere outside of ourselves. It's here in the now. We just have to kind of go for that low-hanging fruit on the tree and, and utilize what we have, where we are right now, and, and find that joy. You know, it just might be going to the park, might be spending a little extra time with your girlfriends or your loved ones, and, and take those little notes, write them down in your journal. So at the end of 2024, you've got this whole book, a series of, of small joys that you're like, oh, wow, I had a great year. I'm so glad I took time for myself to find out what brings me more joy. And you know what happens when we have more joy? Everyone else around us experiences that. They have 
that, that feeling, you know, our mood helps lift other moods up too. So it's just wonderful exchange by taking a moment to find out more what brings you joy um, for 2024, counting joy. I hope you try that suggestion. I loved it. I'm going to start practicing it again more regularly because I was just thinking, wow, I was so happy that year. Why? I'm like, oh yeah, I did that county enjoyed thing that sad guru suggested so hey stay kind have an inspired mind i'm so grateful to be here with you if you have any questions you can reach me at michelleshaw.com or here at my podcast take care have a great day i'm out if i can figure out how to <laughs> turn there we go